I lost my ass. Where's my ass? Dang it. Oh well. I have to find another S. Anyway, welcome back. This is Tom and this is Tom's radio room with the S missing. It's not the shelf. But anyway, what I have been doing is I've been testing these dongles for listening to HF shortwave and VHF. And the setup I had was I was up in my office, I had my new computer running, I installed various SDR programs to try out, and I was going to use these three dongles out of the dozen or so I had. This is the result. So, a lot of variables. Again, I was using my G5 RV antenna and I was upstairs in my office with all the computers that are up there running. So let's go through this. Uh, first I'll tell you what dongles I tried. This is the RTL-SDR.com dongle. This dongle works very good. It's only $25 and it works very good depending on the software. So that's one. This one is a, uh, a new noelect.com. This is their newer design format, whatever. Not too impressed with it. It, uh, it works on VHF, but I haven't got it to work on HF. And the last one is, the I think this is the very first one I bought. At the time, I paid $19.95. I think you'll get them for less than ten dollars now. This is the Noelect, and it has this funky connector, so I had to buy an adapter for it. But that's the one I tested. So here is the results. Let me zoom in. I'm running at uh, lower resolution, so I can zoom in further. So I'm only running at 480p. That allows me to zoom in really close. Okay, so here, down here, oh, now my camera's going to go nuts trying to focus every time I use my, move my hand. Down here is the three dongles. And in here is the software I used and whether I was testing, let me get a pointer. A pointer. That way, maybe the, um, the camera won't try to focus so much. So here, I used HD SDR, I used SDR Sharp, and I used SDR Con, and one I'll just mention, because there's some controversy with it, is SDR Sharp, Sharper, Sharper. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay. So, we'll start with the RTL-SDR.com dot. This one. Start with that one. And trying to uh, use it to receive HF using HDI, HD SDR, I got signals, but they were pretty weak. And I was able to with that software and that dongle, I was able to change the modes. Uh, either the quadrature mode, I think it's called, or the direct Q. So in direct Q, it seemed to be working, but the signals were really weak. Now keep in mind, I've got a note down here, that right now, band conditions for shortwave are terrible. So maybe I wasn't receiving much because band conditions were bad. I did this testing I believe in the afternoon about two o'clock. So that's what that was, was the results there. I used HD SDR and checked VH. Went to quadrature mode or whatever it's called and checked the VH and UHF bands 
It was, um, my note says, this is, was, the signals were very strong, very strong. So then I switched to, same doggo, I switched to SDR Sharp. I tried it on HF. It did work, but, and I think I've showed you on our previous shows, the bleed over from medium wave was horrendous. And I cannot control the RF gain with that software in that mode. So, yeah, I was getting a ton of signals, but most of them were bleed over from medium wave. Unlike what I got over here with HD SDR. I didn't get that bleed over, and it didn't appear to be uh, being over modulated. So the RF gain was probably down or it was in automatic mode and it was working. So that's the results there. In VHF, um, in SD, SDR sharp, signals were strong and good. Then I went to SDR console, HF, I got nothing. Again, there is nothing that I can find in SDR console to change the mode of the receiver from quadrature to direct. So I got no signals whatsoever with SDR console in the HF mode. VHF worked great. Signals were strong, worked perfect. Then, I'm going to say this to last, this calm glass. Okay. And then we tried the NOAA Elect A dollar one. This is what they are now. That's this one. These are about eight dollars now. And under HD SDR, shortwave, uh, high frequency, nothing. Didn't receive anything. When uh, HD SDR on VHF worked fine, worked just as good as any of the other ones. Under SDR sharp, HF, nada. And my note is I was receiving nothing. Okay. SDR Sharp VHF worked fine, strong signals. SDR Console, nothing received. SDR uh, Console VHF was working fine. Okay, then I tried this guy right here, which is supposed to be a newer design, and under HD SDR, I got nothing on HF, nothing. It was just did. Um, I got under VHF, worked fine, strong signals. Under SDR, sharp, HF, nada, no signals, nothing. Uh, VHF on it, under SDR, sharp, worked fine. SDR console, nothing. SDR console on VHF, worked fine, strong signals. Okay, so that is the three dongles I tried. Now, so let me just summarize what I found in that setup during that time of the day with that antenna, whatever. A lot of variables there. All of the SDRs worked fine on VHF. The RTL SDR under uh, da, 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 da. Which one was it? I think it was. I'm trying to look at my notes here. Oh, here it is, right here, under the with this dongle. This was the only one. HF. I was receiving lots of signals, and I did a show a couple of shows ago where I showed you that. It was just getting overloaded. I mean, medium wave was coming in like it was right next door. So it was working, but the gain apparently was too high. Now, possibly if I had an attenuator, a physical attenuator on that, and I could crank down the gain from the antenna, directly from the antenna, or the signal, not the gain, the signal, uh, possibly this would actually work. And this does work 
on my other setup down in my workshop where is work that's where I'm at right now on HF and it works fine so I don't know what that's about. okay so that's kind of the summary all worked on VHF basically except for this one none of them worked on HF okay now let me talk to just briefly about something that's a little controversial and that is there is a software package called SDR Sharper, Sharper, and it turns out, and it, I really, I kind of have to say this in a low voice, I really like the program, but what happened apparently is the gentleman that wrote this program took SDR Sharp and modified it and didn't get an okay from the SDR Sharp developer. And so he got into a little trouble and consequently the websites that carry these various programs no longer carried his program. Well, I found it after some searching. I found it and when I was trying to write initially on my setup that I have down here in my workshop, which is a just a dual core computer, it was acting kind of flaky. It was working, but it wasn't working too well, and it was like a delay in the, when you click on something, so I gave up on it. So this past week, I said, I'm going to try that on my new computer, which is much faster, and it works great. There's a little bit of an offset on the frequencies, but other than that, I have found no problems with it. And the look and feel of this, it, to me, is really appealing, really easy on my eyes. But I'm not, I'm not going to tell you where to get it because there is that controversy. So if you want to seek it out yourself, that's fine. I wish that these two guys got together and got some agreements so that SDR Sharper could be legitimately released. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. So that's where that is. The results of that were that it did work with this dongle. Um, it did work with the same problem as the other program, SDR Sharp, in that it uh, appeared that the dongle was getting over modular. It did work with this one, um, and it has shortwave station information when you're tuning the bands. Nice little feature. Um, it, this one, this guy did not work at all under uh, trying to receive HF. It worked in all conditions for VHF, I mean, in all, all of the SDRs on VHF, worked fine, strong signals. And then I had a note too here down here is it switched drivers when I switched to this guy. It wanted to use a different driver, which is like, hmm, maybe it's got some intelligence that the other software packages don't have. And so I had to install the EXTIO driver to get it to work, and it worked fine. So, as you can see, <laughs> lots of confusion here. And I'm, deck, I'm back down in my workshop now, where I have my MFJ 31-foot vertical antenna, and the uh, coax um, is only the coax lead-in is only like 25 feet. So that shortens that. I have only one computer at a time running in this environment. So less RFI from computers and monitors than I have up in my office. So I'm going to do this test again in this setup. So I'll use the same dongles, I'll use the same software, and see what I get. So I'll be doing that in the near future. So, 
If you have any comments or questions, please leave me the comments. You know, this show is about sharing information, and that's what I'm trying to do here, to share information. I really believe there may be, I've got the wrong drivers for these software packages for a particular dongle. That could be one problem. Another problem is most of these programs have a lot of options, a lot of things you can tweak, and possibly I don't have it right. I'm curious to see if this guy who was getting a lot of noise and bleed in from medium wave does not have that problem down in my workshop. I don't remember when I tested it before. So that'll be interesting to find out. So anyway, if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.